Hello and welcome. Long time no see. It's been a couple of years. I can't believe it. Thank you so much for everyone who's still subscribing. Um, and for any possible new person, I'm Lisa Gustafsson. I'm a Swedish lady of a certain age, I was going to say. I'm Swedish, I live in London, and I used to make videos about fermenting and healthy foods and responsible beauty products. So that's what I'm going to continue doing, but I'm also going to add a few other things that might be of interest. So I uh, do voiceovers um, in Sweden, but from London. So you can hear me on TV3 Sweden, speaking Swedish. I'm also a nutritionist and now I'm also a business owner with the clean beauty brand Elizabeth 33. So anyway, I thought coming back to YouTube, I want to obviously start with a ferment. So it's super hot in London. And I thought a salsa uh, would be a good thing. So this salsa normally takes about three days, but because it's so hot, it might go even quicker. So in this salsa, it's a classic salsa recipe. I used to do it for the kids. They quite like it. It doesn't taste of fermenting, so they like it. Um, what you need is two peppers. These are quite sweet, so it's good with a sweet one. Uh, a cucumber, a little bit smaller than this maybe, and a piece of red onion, um, some balsamic vinegar, some sea salt, and I'm also going to use a probiotic uh, capsule just to make the whole ferment go a little bit quicker uh, because it's it takes so short time that we really want that healthy bacteria to flourish. I'm recording this on my phone, so we'll see how it goes, but you want to cut everything to super, super, super small pieces. So let's do that. It's good if everything has the same size, but uh, I have to say I'm not super good at that. So the red onion. So, all done, and then I just put everything into a glass bowl. tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and a little capsule. Mix it all together. It already smells really nice and fresh. And then we're packing it in the kilner jar tightly. I'm doing it with one hand here so it's a little bit hard to see. But everything goes in this kilner jar and it's good if it's packed tightly. I would have to do that with my fingers when I'm done with the filming. So pack it in. Preferably no air bubbles or air pockets, should I say, in the kilner jar. But do your best. I'm using leaf to push the vegetables down and then I got the liquid covering it and then I have my pebbles I'm going to use two and this will press the peppers down under like so so they are totally safe and then we just close it and there we go. Now we're going to leave this for a while and go and do something totally different. 
I'm going to the new Diva exhibition at the VNA, and I'm going with a friend who's a member, so I think this is the first day. Uh, but they open on June the 24th on Saturday. So it's celebrating divas like Grace Jones, Tina Turner, Vivian Lee, and you know, all their fierceness and gorgeousness, and it should be fun. of course some olives and here some sill and then the most important thing is actually all the potatoes <laughs> it's actually midsummer today this is one of the most important holidays in Sweden and I can never go to Sweden because the kids are always in school it's always on a Friday so I'm going to have a little celebration for myself <laughs> We have sill, of course. We normally dance around the maple. Everybody gets severely drunk and you have to be in the countryside. Uh, the city is totally empty. You normally wear white and uh, it's fun. and the salsa is ready. I have tried it. I tried it every day to see so it doesn't get over fermented because that's not nice. Then you have to start from the beginning. So it only took two days and that's only because it is 30 degrees in London. Um, otherwise I would say three days. So let's try it. 
So we open it and remove these glass pebbles. If you don't have glass pebbles, you could use just a um, plastic bag filled with water. Just press it down. And then of course, oops, we got our leaf and everything that's been under the leaf under the water should be okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is a really mild salsa, so really good for the kids. And when you put it in the fridge, it would last for about three weeks. So yeah, enjoy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And for a super quick Aldesco lunch, I open a tin of tuna, then I put loads of the salsa in. This is hard to do with one hand. Salt. Where's the pepper? Pepper and a bit of olive oil as well it's always nice mix it up you've got your protein your vegetables and it tastes really nice <laughs> if you're interested to know more about the pagan ritual that is midsummer i'm going to link a video below that really well explains it exactly how swedish midsummer is it's a comedy video but you know it's it's exactly like that Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video in really bad quality. It's filmed on a super, super old phone, but there is hope because I got this uh, new Canon thing, attraction. Should be much better audio and video, so stay tuned next week. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye.